Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Today is March 21st, about 1.04 p.m. You'll see that in just a second. Let's go, uh, let's go visit our town. Look, see, it's March 21st, it's Saturday, 1.04 p.m. Hi, Nook. Testing, testing, test, test, test. And very, very loud, okay. Oh dear, so, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Hello, everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, going on and such. Hmm. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for such a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with the doozy of an island announcement. The Isle Deckney Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all, no, no. The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the Resident Services Center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please drop by, do drop by for a look. Oh, I do have one other item to share. And it, too, is a Whopper. Hmm? As of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us in Isle Deckney. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Isle Deckney. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. So I really didn't end up doing too much last night after uh, I stopped recording. Uh, I considered, you know, going out and uh, doing a ton of stuff and ended up uh, recording other things. So, uh, yeah, there's, you know, not a ton that was done. Let's, t let's, let's see. We got mail. It's the Happy Home Academy. Congrats on your new home. Greetings from the Happy Home Academy. Our goal, we want you to help you make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as, your hone, as you hone your home decorating skills. A housewarming gift is attached. And from Mom. My dear Nye, whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many flights took off each day. My arm is exhausted. Enjoy your fresh start. Mom. With a present. My pockets are too full to hold this. I do have very full pockets right now. We also have a house. That's exciting. We have a house. Congratulations on the construction of your new home. Here are a few tips for comfortable living. Up to turn lights on or off. Down to enter decorating mode. And right to open storage. You can make the room brighter or dimmer with this option to turn lights on or off. This feature lets you easily make design changes to an entire room. Act as your home storage to stash or retrieve items. When you're home, you can open your pockets to select furniture or other items and put them in storage. Neat. Well, we do have plenty of stuff in my pockets. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few things. Because I did do a couple things. I did shake a lot of trees. Um, got stung by hornets and wasn't able to make another net, actually. Uh, so that's why we have wasps' nests. I also found a message in a bottle. To someone out there somewhere. The latest trend to hit the waves is a little something I call self-care. And how can you do that if you can't see yourself? So take a little you time to make this and any other recipe that floats to shore. From your do-it-yourself icon, Leopold. So we got a wooden table mirror. Do it yourself. I learned a do-it-yourself recipe for a wooden table mirror. Exciting. So that empties that. What did we get from the Happy Home Academy? A wooden end table. Cool. Another do-it-yourself recipe. I like it. Okay, I'm not going to end up doing, you know, too much in here. I'm curious if how much space I actually... I have 80. Okay, I have 80 space. Uh, that's uh, that's good to know. So, I mean, most of the stuff in my inventory is actually going to end up leaving my inventory very, very quickly. So, I'm not really too worried about storing anything right now. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that stuff a little bit later on. Let's go ahead and get Mom's present. Very windy today. So mom sent us cherries. Excellent. So that is going to be a new fruit type. Hey, Boon. Yo, you've been training, Baboom? I want to chat. Don't forget to cool down after a workout. You don't want to overheat. Plus, it helps build even more muscle. Good tips. Okay. Uh, I need... How many sticks do I have? I have 12 sticks. Okay. Let's go ahead and make ourselves... Uh, 
I need another... Another net. Let's go ahead and craft that. That butterfly right there just reminded me that this is probably a thing I should do. I made a flimsy net. It's really all I need right now, let's be honest. Uh, oh, right. We got Nook Miles. So, let's see. We got the bug. So, earn miles for catching bugs. So, let's go ahead and claim. We caught 10 bugs, including some I caught last night. Freshly delivered egg are my new title keywords. 300 more miles to me. So, cool stuff there. Do yourself tools. We also made plenty of tools. So, let's get some more miles there. Creative enthusiast. 300 more miles for me. I like it. We can all. We also get do-it-yourself furniture. Beautiful. I like it. Uh, clam and collected. Dig up clams. Yeah, I don't have a. I don't have a shovel yet. But dream house, a home that you build yourself, gives you greater livability. It's on a whole another level. I'll give Nook Miles for those who build or expand their home to taste the good life. One room loner. Got Nook Miles. Fantastic. Anything? Uh, anything else that we got? Oh, take the sting out. Getting stung by wasps hurts. Getting stung again before you can recover makes you faint. But at least you get some... Uh, that explains it. Uh, I got stung twice last night. And uh, for some reason, I ended up in front of my house. I didn't really realize what happened. Uh, that explains it. I want you to be uncomfortable, though. So take some medicine to heal up. We got some miles for getting stabbed. Teary-eyed cry, teary crybaby. It's raining treasure. No one knows who sends the gifts attached to balloons. Ah, I did, um, I did shoot something out of a balloon. Uh, yesterday. So, that would explain what that was. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff. I do want to, uh... Just kind of the other side of this, uh, of this river is really attracting me. Let's see, we already talked to Boone, at least for now. We might talk to him later on. Uh, actually, let's check our, I'll check our map. Did we get any additional residents? No, it's just three of us. Okay. Uh, we do have, uh, Blathers, so we will go talk to Blathers soon. What's up, Timmy? T no, this is Tommy today. Okay. Congratulations on your new home. A home is sure to open up so many new possibilities for you. You'll be wanting stylish furniture for that new home, which you could always craft as do-it-yourself projects, but I recommend you check into the offerings from Nook Shopping. It does take a bit of time to get your order delivered, but they have a daily rotating selection of goods. That includes fashionable things that can be hard to get on an island. You can check out Nook Shopping at the Nook Stop in Resin Services. Okay. Something to look into. Oh, okay. My pockets are full. We'll go ahead and drop that. I'm going to have to, before I do anything else, I think I'm going to have to go uh, drop by Blathers. Oh, hold on. That's what I need. Where is it? It's over here. Hold up. There we go. So, um... I guess I'm gonna drop... Oh, no. I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, no. Pick this up. That button. Let's go ahead and swap this with the weeds. And what do we get? We got a fan palm. Nice. I like it. Can I... As part of my outfit... Okay. I was kind of curious if I could just, like, have Leaf Umbrella be, um, like, permanently part of my outfit. But apparently not. Anything new on the message board? Nope. We did get some more Nook Miles, though. That's always good. Oh, hey, I, okay, so this is, I, I can now claim, um, how do I, oh, plus. So I can, I pop balloons, I can now claim that. Oh, hey, so there's, oh, that's cool. There's always new stuff up there. I like that. I like that a lot. So you can actually get a ton of stuff per day, which is, which is very cool. I like it. Okay. What's up, Renee? Sup, Yo-Yo? Where are you headed? Let's chat. This weather rocks. Feels like anything I do is going to turn out awesome. You know what? I agree with you. 
Okay, so let's go talk to Bladders. I have tons of stuff to give to him. So I'm kind of very glad that he's actually here now. Hey, Blathers. I've missed you. Ooh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem on this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Could it be that you're Nye, the personage who chose the location for this tent? That'd be me. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and, henceforth, dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures, as well as those you gave Tom Nook, in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there's one smallish problem regarding said museum. Let me guess you don't have the money for it. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Okay, that's a little bit easier. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. Who? As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers that this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say? Who? Silly you! I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Nye, while I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. Okay. There, you see? With wood gathered from Isledecne, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. Okay. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I sent a do-it-yourself schematic for a shovel to dig fossils. Thank you. From the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Nye, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers. I have blathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. We can probably do that today. Okay, so let's make a donation. Okay, so first of all, we have a olive flounder. Hoo hoo! Why, this is an olive flounder! Now, I might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your olive flounder? Please tell me. Wonderful! I would love nothing more. Did you know that the olive flounder is the same shape as other fish when it hatches? But as it grows, it gets both wider and flatter and can reach some three feet long. These flat fish spend much of their lives buried under the sandy ocean floor waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey when they strike. It would be as if your kitchen floor were to bite you. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo, and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Do you have anything else? Oh, I absolutely have. Yes, please, please. I got I got tons more. Take this crap out of my inventory. Here's a Crucian Carp. Whew, woo -hoo, this is undoubtedly a Crucian Carp. Let's hear fascinating facts about the Crucian Carp, shall we? Wonderful. I wonder, do you know how to tell the difference between a Crucian Carp and a standard issue Carp? It's quite easy to tell the two apart. One must simply locate the barbells, or rather, the lack of them. And just what is a barbell, you ask? Well, a barbell looks a little something like a mustache. A run-of-the-mill carp will sport this unsightly facial hair, while a Crucian carp is considerably better groomed. I tried to grow a mustache when I was younger. It never did fill in quite right. All for the best in the end, as mustaches go so much better with noses than with beaks. You know what? I think I agree with him. I am not sure I would appreciate blathers with a mustache. Okay, so we got more stuff. So we also have a sea bass. Sea bass. God, that joke's old. Hootie hoo. This must be a sea bass. Okay, what do you got to tell me about a sea bass? Wonderful. Sea bass is a name given to a variety of different species of saltwater fish. They are a varied bunch, with some as small as 4 inches and some as staggeringly ginormous as 8 feet. Sea bass is a bit pedestrian, though. Many species have better names, such as Red Banded Perch, or the delightfully whimsical Dusky Grouper, or the Potato Cod. Will no one think of the pink Mau Mau? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. Okay, so we got some more stuff for you. So now we got the horse mackerel. Hey, it's a horse mackerel. Yes, yes it is. Please tell me about the horse mackerel. Supposedly, the horse mackerel drives its name from a false myth about its strength as a swimmer. The gist of it is that these fish are so powerful underwater that smaller fish can ride them as steeds. It's absurd, of course. Where would these alleged fish jockeys attach a saddle, much less horseshoes? 
one does wish that people would construct their legends with a bit more scientific plausibility. I wonder how much of that is actually true. Like, is this stuff they actually researched? You know, to put these little facts in, or is this stuff just made up? Okay, here's the pill bug. Eek! A pill bug. Blathers has always been afraid of bugs. The horror, the repugnance, good heavens, must maintain my composure. Ahem, I beg your pardon? Bugs? I do test them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist. Oh, I absolutely insist. Ah, I see. In that case, <clears throat> Blech, the pill bug. Children delight at the way these beasts roll into balls when poked. But the appeal is utterly lost on me. One look at their leggy egger undersides. <laughs> How they wriggle. Young pill bugs shed their exoskeletons as they grow, and in doing so, sprout another pair of legs. As if 12 appendages weren't alarming enough. Yuck, I say. Yuck. Anywho. My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. With this, we need 10 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contri contributions. Who? I'm eager to give them to you. Okay, so 10 more donations. That should not be, you know, terribly difficult. Okay, we are going to want to go... Hey, it's a bottle. Uh, where did the bottle go? There's the bottle. To the lucky duck who found this. I was re Lee rela I was lay relaxing yesterday while reading comics when I thought of this recipe. I wanted to share it with someone, so I threw it in this bottle. You'll want to use it all the time. The cutest artisan, Victoria. The Log Garden Lounge. Okay. We now have a Log Garden Lounge. So, unfortunately, I do not have... Oh, hello. I do not have a fishing rod, is what I do not have. Okay, we'll have to go back for that in a second. There are sticks everywhere. As you can see, there's also weeds everywhere. Like I said, I didn't really spend a lot of time yesterday uh, de-weeding. So, you know, a, a decent portion of the island has had its weeds removed. But that's... Oh, hello. It's Gulliver. Blah. Who's at the helm? Just give me a few more minutes. <coughs> Sorry, fellas. Already licked all the cookies. Had a test for raisins. Uh. Mm. Blah. Do you have any pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so... Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on, I know that one. I'm Nun Oliver, then Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven... seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for waking the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Whew. Guess I toast off and tumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. <laughs> Don't worry. The fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace at my wing, you see? I'll just call for help using my handy dandy waterlogged phone. My, uh... Oh my gosh, my handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, uh, sardines, it's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, it could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my communicator parts, please? I'll look for them, sure. Really? Wow, I haven't gotten a reception this sweet and bubbly since I washed up at Old Coral, Co Coral Cola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If I find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. See, it used to be that Gulliver, when you woke him up, just flat gave you something. Like a, a rare piece of furniture from around the world. Apparently he's not that nice anymore. Alternatively, Nintendo decided that just getting a piece of furniture for free was, uh... A little bit too easy, I guess. Anything more on the shore? Nope. Cool. Okay, let's go see what's going on at Nooks. I 
do that glowing spot. We're going to see if I remember how to use those glowing spots. Okay. Oh, we got a cutscene. So, you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now, hmm? That's actually a really good point. This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Nye. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper, and you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude in your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please. Can I pay in miles? Oh, I'm sorry. That was a special offer that only applied to your initial getaway package fees. You'll have to make loan payments with bells now. Huh, but don't worry. You can pay in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature on the Nook style. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. But I do have a surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium Miles Redemption item. A Nook Miles ticket. What's that? A Nook Miles ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? We want to improve our island, but still hold on to that deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes, go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy life in your freshly built home. Indeed. Okay. Hi, Timmy. Congratulations on your new home. I have something I would like to chat about, if you have a moment, that is. It is a bit of a proposal, so if now is not a good time, I understand completely. No pressure. Sure. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing, and our needs are growing, too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited in here. I've already spoken to our fearless leader, and of course, he agrees that we have a need. Ah, but here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it, since we'll need these materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, yes, you can gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and the rocks? Our environmental review even suggests there will be a zero-impact native flora or fauna. Ah, but I'm getting to off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. Sure. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is a lot, but I've put together a list of the items I'd like you to gather. We'll need 30 pieces each of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from this island or any other. And you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. Oh, okay. I can do that. How can I help you? Uh, I want to sell. So, I need to get rid of sand dollars. Coral. I'd, I have no idea why I would need wasps. Let's get rid of that. Um, a giant clam, some weeds. Uh, we're going to hold on to those cherries. We're going to be using them momentarily. I think that's it. And we're going to get 2,200 bells. I'll take it. Okay, now let's see what he has for sale. Anything useful today. So he's got a tin bucket and a barbecue. The barbecue appeals to me on a, on a deep level. To have it for beginners, axe recipe, watering can recipe, slingshot recipe. Okay, so he, okay, so I have already purchased it, so he already believes I purchased it. Okay, that's good to know. Um, okay, well, kind of nothing more I need from him then. I mean, I could buy this stuff, but I'd rather spend money on other things. Uh, part of me wants to buy those just so I have them in my catalog. Once per day, access to the Nook stuff will reward you with bonus daily miles. So we got 80 miles this time. Okay, so let's look at Nook miles real quick. So we got 2,000. Um, so what I really want is the pocket organization guide or the tool ring. I think we're going to go with the tool ring. Now generating tool ring is essential. 
Your order has been printed. Okay. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned how to easily switch tools. When I'm outside, I can press up to use the tool ring now. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do with our Nook Miles, I need to get 5,000 Nook Miles in order to get the Pocket Organization Guide. Um, I think that's going to be, like, a important thing to have, because this is going to allow me to hold more items. So, you can only go to other islands if you have that many points. I mean, this is some kind of neat stuff, I'm not going to lie. I like the knapsack. But, uh, I think, yeah. I think we're going to hold on to our stuff to get the points. Okay. So, we need to gather stuff. Uh, gathering stuff is going to be important. So, I can press up, and here's my tool ring. Nice. So, what do I already have? I have a net, I have a watering can, and I have a slingshot. So, I need a fishing rod, I need a, a shovel, and I need a pole vault. Let's craft. So pull vault. Luckily, I happen to have the softwood. I think I know also an axe, right? I made a vaulting pole. Uh, I also happen to need a shovel. I have the hardwood. Thank you. Made a flint shovel. Okay. And I think I need an axe. I made a flimsy axe. Uh, do I actually need to keep crafting? I think I'm good. Yeah, I think we're uh, pretty satisfied with what we have. We are going to get Nook Miles, though. 600 Nook Miles for completing do-it-yourself projects. We're going to get more Nook Miles for uh, getting fossils assessed. Not just digging them up, but getting them assessed. We do need to hit rocks, uh, sell clumps of weeds, and chop wood. But all of that is stuff I'm actively going to be doing at a certain point. Go ahead, be shellfish. Okay. So we get more points for that. 300 points for the shell-grabbing shell fan. I'll take it. Any other points available to me? Okay. So, we had a... Shining spot right here. Shining spots come with bells. Look, I took up a thousand bells. But, what we... Oh, hello. We got a thing for that. Peter, I'll bet you didn't think you'd find buried bells here, hmm? But this is an island, after all. Buried treasure and whatnot. Enjoy some Nook Miles from Nook Inc. to celebrate your discovery. Lucky type. You got 300 Nook Miles. But, I do need to take some of this money. Oh. We're gonna bury that. Hey, look. It turned into... To turn into a tree. Let's go ahead and put that thousand bells away. Okay, let's also pull out my watering can. And let's make sure to water our flowers. I mean, yes, I need, you know, I need the bells, but I don't need the bells badly enough to not you know, bury them in the ground. 
Why, you ask? Uh, there's reasons. I promise. I promise I have reasons for doing that. Okay. So, we are currently on the lookout. Let's go ahead and pull out our shovel again. Hey. There's a communicator part. I thought that was going to be like a clam or something, to be honest with you. Oh, he's got something to say to me. Hey, I heard you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle, Nye. I found us something that might help things along. Here you go. Ooh, thank you. I was going to make these iron nuggets and some free weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Go team, I'll deck me. Ba-boom. I appreciate you. Actually, let's, uh, since I'm standing, I happen to be standing right here. So, got to make sure to get a little bit closer each time you hit it. Um, and this applies not only to uh, hitting for stuff like this. This also applies for when I find the bell rock. Just hope my axe doesn't fall apart. I'm assuming that's, yeah. Cool. So, we hit some rocks. Uh, next thing is sell fruit. Problem is, I don't have any fruit to sell right now. I would actually, like, believe it or not, even though it would be kind of... Oh. Let's see that, please. Even though it would be a little bit obnoxious, I would actually like this axe to break. Because if it breaks, it like, I could just replace it, which would be extremely appreciated at some point. Okay. We'll see. I, what I really, what I do not want to happen is I do not want this axe to break while I'm um, hitting a rock, specifically. So let's see if we can get it to break on a tree. I would really appreciate this axe breaking on a tree, please. Pretty sure we can get the stuff together to make the shop today. That's my plan. Oh, Renee wants to say something. What's up? What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. I knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part for Isle Deck Me. Oh, yeah. I got a quick tip for you. There's a collection of do-it-yourself recipes called Pretty Good Tools Recipes. You might want to look into it. It's basically a ton of ways to make durable tools and stuff. If you got the miles, you can buy it from the Nook Stop over in the Resin Services. Figure if you're going to be chopping trees or digging holes or whatever, maybe it'll save you on repairs. That would be appreciated. I'm going to have to go look into that, but I kind of want the pocket organizer more. Okay, so we got... I'll go back to doing that in a second. I'm Since I'm on the beach, I want to look out for... Uh, you know, spitting clams and whatnot. Oh no, I'm full in pockets. We'll drop that for now. We'll come back for it. What do I have in my pockets? Yeah, well, some of this stuff we're gonna go fix right now because I can. So let's go ahead. Plant a cherry here. We'll go ahead and plant a cherry here. And very specifically, we do not want to accidentally trample these cherries. Very important. Do not trample cherries. Just, just don't do it. Let's see, I'm feeling like we need a uh, tree right about here, too. Which I can go ahead and plant that to do that. There we go. More importantly, that also opens up a little bit more inventory space. Go ahead and claim chop wood. We's getting them points. Those points are coming. 
Okay, fishing is a thing that it wants me to do as well. Oh, fruit fruits. Isle Dechne's local fruit delicacy is a wonder to be sure, but if you plant new varieties, guess what'll happen? Correct! You'll grow some nook miles. What you do with the fruit after that is up to you. Twins other half. Yep, that's about right. You got nook miles. So I think that's probably for for each of the uh, other fruits I plant. So we'll keep an eye for other fruits. Okay. Okay, I already have that apparently. I already shook down that tree. Love that Renee is just sitting there watching me just go to work. Not even helping the way that others did. Up oh, there. Okay. There goes the axe. That's fine. That's actually okay. Because that means that I can go and deal with rocks again. So what I will need to do at some, you know, point that is soon, uh, I will need to go pole vaulting. I don't know if I'm going to do that, like, immediately, or... Actually, I don't need to keep crafting. That's that's not, not right. Okay. Put my flimsy axe. I know that we have a stone over here. This is our money stone again. As you can see, that was worth quite a lot, actually. Eee. Oh, look, look at the roses. That's beautiful. Oh, hello, do I have that one? Where'd you go? There you are. There we go. Uh, there's a tiger butterfly, so I do have that already. Okay. So what I'm on the lookout for right now is look at uh that. That is what I'm on the lookout for. Fossils. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and swap that. We'll swap that with the uh. With the pill bug. I don't really need that as much as I need the fossils. And I don't need the tiger butterfly as much either. So we'll go ahead and let those go. I kind of assume that we will... Ooh, hell. I have manila clam. Manila's my favorite flavor of clam. What can I swap this with? Uh, let's go ahead and swap out the weeds. This middle clam could be used as a fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Really? Uh, okay, so what did I... Okay, Bonafide Bone Finder. Congratulations on finding your first fossil. Of course, you'll need some nook miles to commemorate the occasion, but don't celebrate too hard. There are more fossils to dig up. Yes, yes. Discovered fossil. I like it. It feels like we're getting a lot done. Can't stop now, though. I got tons more to do. Ah! More communicator parts. Okay, I'm very glad those stack. I was worried they wouldn't. Oh, we got a jetty. And a big damn fish over by the jetty. We'll have to go investigate that in the very near future. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye out on the beach. Oh, where was that? Right there? Two more. This is probably going to be like a lighthouse, if I had to make a guess. Nice. Communicator 
part. I like that we can see more islands on the horizon. Okay, I think those are all of our communicator parts, right? I like it. Okay. Look at all the pine trees up there. All my conifers. That makes me happy to see those. Oh, hello. Another fossil? Another fossil. Uh, do I have something I can, like, swap it out with that I won't feel bad about swapping it out with? Not really. Okay. Well, that's just gonna sit there for a minute. We'll just have to remember where that is. Let's go ahead and pop into here real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that piece of furniture away. Because I do not... Well, actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out. Because we... You know what? Our house is feeling kind of bare. And we could have a fan palm in our house. We can, we can just get a little bit of green. That, that's, that's all I really want. You know? Just a little bit of green. That'll be fine. Okay. Let's go talk to Gulliver. Is he still over here? Just kind of hiding out where he was? Yeah. Did you find him? I did. Got him right here. Here's the pieces to your phone. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Did you do it? All right. The pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if I can, this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Setting my coordinates now. Gulliver over now. There. That should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that will knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it. I'm saved. Nothing to do but pace back and forth the next few hours. Better get started. We got Nook Miles for doing that. Gulliver's Travails. When you come across someone in trouble on the beach, you help them, setting a fine example for all the island residents. Such kindness will surely find its way back to you. Flightless Fowl. 300 Nook Miles. We are halfway to our goal. Beautiful. Okay. Let's head right on over here. Let's donate some stuff to the museum. Because I said, we're, we're getting a lot done. It, it feels good to get so much done. Please let me know if you have items, donate, or need assistance. I am here to help. Sure, let's make a donation. So now we have three different fossils. We have another one that's sitting outside. Who? Indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible. Wonderful. Remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Hoo-hoo. This is most assuredly a right megaloside. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This right megaloside would be a sizable step towards opening the museum. I wonder, should you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? Absolutely. How wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved right megaloside. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Sure. Wonderful. Just fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? The Megaloceros was a relative of the deer that lived during the Ice Age, long after the dinosaurs. It was also known as Megaloceros giganteus, which just means deer with large horns. True to their name, they were a deer with antlers spanning roughly 10 feet across. Imagine the majesty. While smaller than many dinosaurs, they were nonetheless a very charismatic example of megafauna. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I'll gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. Okay, cool. This also applies to the fossils you brought this time, but only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, please do bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. 
With this, we need nine donations to the museum. I'm either to accept or continue contributions. Well, I have two more. Yeah, here, make a do- Uh, oh wait, you have to assess first. I don't know why you can assess that one immediately and the other ones I have to go to a different menu for, but sure. Okay, go ahead and assess this one. Oh, you can set. Okay, that's why, because you can do multiple at a time. Ooh, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Woohoo, woohoo. These are rare fossils, each and every one, and not, have not appeared in our collection. I say you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. I'm terribly jealous. I only hope I can convince you to donate these and help expand our little museum. In the meantime, I shall return them to you, but do think on what I said. Woohoo. Is there anything else I can help with? Yeah, we're going to make a donation now. I'd like to donate these fossils. A parasaur tail. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Could it be? It is a parasaur tail! You've literally just assessed it. Why are you so surprised? I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well. You just assessed this! Dear me, might I give you a short presentation? You absolutely can. I love hearing about your presentations. Wonderful! It is fascinating stuff. Hootie hoo. Paras. Parasauroloph. Parasaurolophus. I like to think of it as the beast with the golden tones. You see, the three-foot structure of hollow bone atop its head may have been an elaborate noisemaker. As died in the feathers optimist and music fan, I like to think it serenaded the late Cretaceous. And that is what I have to say about that. Okay. I wonder if he says different things depending on uh, how many pieces of the, uh, of the fossil you've gotten. Let's go ahead and donate a Tricera skull as well. A Tricera skull. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. Blathers, I'd like to actually just hear the presentation. As herbivores go, Triceratops was unusually well equipped for combat. Its three horns and impressive bony frill probably helped it fight off predators like T Rex. The frill may also have been involved in temperature regulation or else in attracting mates. Does it seem to you like virtually all distinctive dinosaur features were for body heat or attracting mates? I apparently will be hearing more about body heat and attracting mates in the future. We need seven donations to open the museum. Well, seven is a number. It's a number that I can work with. Okay. We did get some fossils assessed and got more miles. Is that plant a tree or chop down trees? Okay. I don't really want to do that, to be honest. Ooh, hey. Nook miles for miles. Earning Nook Miles for earning Nook Miles? Yes, yes. You just earned miles for finishing Nook Miles plus goals. So-called Ground Traveler. 300 miles for, you know, doing Nook plus goals. Look, I'm not going to lie. I like getting more stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at that do-yourself recipe. Supposedly I got another recipe. Fish bait. Ooh ha, -ha. Okay. Interesting. You didn't used to have bait. So I'm wondering how that's going to end up turning out. What's this all about? Oh. No! I didn't realize those were bugs. Mm, feels bad. Maybe there'll be more. There are. Okay, good. Yes! I caught a wharf roach. This water-loving roach has no pier. Uh, that's a lie. There's a pier on the other side of the, uh, other side of the island. Don't you lie to me, game. God, have you, have you just seen all of the... <laughs> There's all of these, like, weeds that I'm gonna have to go deal with. I'll get to them gradually. It's gonna take time, unfortunately. I'm trying to figure out, I can't quite figure out where that other orange went. I'm sure we'll find it with time. Unless we're just losing it because it doesn't have a place to land. I really hope not. I might want to make sure that as I, uh, as I go around, at least the trees have no, um, 
stuff around them. Okay, we did have another fossil over here. There it is. Apparently we have another tool we can make. So I'll kind of keep an eye out for that, but... Nice. So that was another fossil. Okay, so... Now that we've done all that, I guess the question now comes up is what to do. Oh, I don't have a fishing rod. Let's go fish that. Let's go fix. Well, let's go fish that. Let's also go fix that. Uh, we should absolutely craft something. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and craft fish bait. made some fish bait. I'm kind of curious how that works. Is that something I just throw in the water and I get fish, or my pockets are too full to do a do-it-yourself project? Well, that sucks. In we go. So, I think what I'm gonna do... Hmm. How do I... How, hmm, how do I want to do things? I really want to get stuff done. I want to sell. Oranges. Oranges. Uh, clumps of weeds. Sold. We're making money. Like, lots and lots of money. Anything from you, Nook? You have anything to say today? Ah, oh, nah. Hello, hello? What did I talk to me about? I'm all ears. Okay. He's got nothing really important to say. Okay. More nook miles, apparently. Oh, yeah, because we sold fruit. Now it's redeem nook miles. So if I redeem 500 nook miles, I get 200 back. I don't know how I feel about doing that today, honestly. Okay, do I have anything I can put away that I won't, you know, be upset about putting away, I guess? The problem the problem is, is that our, our inventory is, you know, extremely limited. And until I get... Actually, I don't want to keep crafting. Thank you, though. Um, until I get more you know, inventory room, that's probably going to continue to be an issue. So it's going to be kind of difficult. This is probably another... Ooh. I caught a rock. Now it's all mine. Rail. Okay. Um, so what I really want to do, I want to get the store going today, but I want you guys to be part of, you know, the creation. And we get a pale chub. Nice. What the? Okay, that's a tiger butterfly. I was like, is that a bat? I so I I want to get the store done. I also want to see about getting the museum done. I feel like we can probably get both done today. Okay, what are we looking at? So we have 13 wood, 12 hardwood, and we have 9 softwood. I'm kind of imagining we're going to need at least one more axe. Thankfully, we do have the stuff required. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Hey, Boone, you're up against the tree I wanted to whack. And now you're sitting on the wood. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I could get it out from underneath him, so I guess that wasn't that bad. I'm very glad that my, uh, my rock of money today was not up on the higher cliffs. You know, it's kind of interesting. I, I was talking to people about uh, Animal Crossing, just kind of, you know, the type of game that it is. And, uh, you know, kind of mentioning, like, how much time you put in. Uh, and I was saying that Animal Crossing is a game that you'd put in, like, half an hour a day, right? Like, that's kind of the the time frame that Animal Crossing kind of sits in. But day one, now keep in mind, these are the first couple of days, so, you know, your mileage may vary. But day one, we put in two hours. Day two today, we're putting in at least an hour. Um, so it's definitely, like, the longevity, because of kind of the way they decided to do things, uh, the game's gonna last a little bit longer, you know, per day. Because you just have so much to actually do. How are we looking? 28 wood, 25 hardwood. Only 14 softwood, though. And then I do still need to get all of the uh, stone. Well, the iron. I didn't actually bother to look at how much iron uh, Boom gave me. Need to make sure we have room for wood to fall. Hmm. Did I already hit that one? That sound is the sound of a present. Nice. Okay, so we have the wood, we have the hardwood. Uh, I believe I can go redeem those right now. So let's go do that. So yeah, this episode will go on, I guess, a little bit longer than I originally intended. I was going to stop after about an hour. Um, but I think we can go on a little bit longer so we can make sure that we get this stuff done. Got building a shop. I'd like to donate. Yep, these are for you. Halfway to donation goals. You offer me a knife block and a protein shaker bottle. Oh, okay. Love your cooperation. Don't need the remaining materials. Look, if you're gonna give me additional rewards for this, like I'm kind of, I'm kind of all bored. But yeah, I think uh, I, I'm enjoying a lot of these aspects of the game. Um, in that it's, you know, a it's more than just walk around and kind of do the things that we used to do. Um, probably should give that to Boone, to be fair. It's a knife block. Oh. Okay. Can make a kitchen. But I'm enjoying the fact that it's more than just, like, have a house and just, you know, and that's it, right? What do we just... Oh, Horde Reward. Put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have. So you're earning rewards for making your house a home. 300 more. Interior sort. Putting us to 5,000. 3,000 more and we're there. But I really... I like the... Uh... You, you know, this is not to say there was anything wrong with the previous Animal Crossings and the way they were. But the concept of the... Pop-up toaster. Nice. The, I guess the concept of the incremental reward, right, where we are gradually getting more stuff is kind of neat. So that the, you know, the daily um, points rewards 
Please let me know if you have any... Okay, so we're going to make a donation. So, let's make a donation of the Wharf Roach. Eek! A Wharf Roach. What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this? Yes. In that case, the Wharf Roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying it'll eat almost anything. This skittering scavenger and its uncouth ap appetite to help keep beaches clean, it's said. But I dare say, their long antenna and bulging eyes turn my stomach unappetizing indeed. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs have in my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Uh, I also have a fish for you. We have the pale chub. Who do you? This must be a pale chub. Talk to me. The pale chub is a river fish with simple black and silver coloring. Interestingly, the male's coloring becomes most vibrant when he's trying to attract a mate. Though normally plain, these fellows really know how to look stylish when they want to. Perhaps I could learn a thing or two from the pale chub. Considering the only other owl I know of in the game is your sister, probably. Okay, so we only need five more. I do have the other fossil, so we need to assess that. So let's really hope this fossil is something we don't have. And we got a Quetzal torso. Yes, let's donate it. Cool. And we have a Quetzal torso. Come on, tell me about Quetzals. The Quetzal, uh, Quetzal Coatlus. The undisputed rule of the skies, at least during the late Cretaceous period, it had a magnificent wingspan of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. While it no doubt soared magnificently, we all now know that it also crawled in all fours. It's a bit disappointing, really. This illustrious sky god scrabbling on the ground like a common beetle. They say you should never meet your heroes. Okay, so we only have four more. We are totally gonna get this museum done today, uh, which is why we're why we're still going. I'm I'm not stopping. We are going to get the shop and the museum done today. That's the plan. But yeah, I like this kind of incremental system they have set up for the game, where you know get a little bit of stuff every day. Um, you know, some stuff you do on a daily basis. The points every day. But I also really like the fact that we are very much building the island ourselves. You know, the fact that we have a uh, fair amount of more points. Rough hewn. Island development is Nook Inc.'s goal. We need a lot of materials to make that happen, so we're giving away Nook miles based on how much wood you chop from trees. We have chopped 100 wood from trees. Aggressive problem solver, 500 miles. Nice. Um... I really like the fact that we are, you know, very responsible for the progress of the island. If you actually go look at previous Animal Crossings, um, you, you didn't really necessarily have a lot of say in what happened to your town. Like, where things were, uh, you know... That looks like a better thing. Okay. You didn't really have a lot of uh, say about... God, really? Learning how to fish is an essential skill for living on a remote island. It encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Accomplished lad or lass. So 300 more miles. You didn't really have a lot of say over kind of how your town developed, where things were, things like that. So being able to say, I want this here, is a very cool thing to begin with. But I also really like the concept of, uh, let's see, 23 softwood. I really like the concept of, like, I get to decide where it is, but also I get to help make it. You know, I get to help gather the materials and stuff like that. It definitely makes the game feel a lot more interactive. You know, it feels like I'm... Oh, crap. No! Darn it. Well, we got stung. I was going to try to catch him, but I wasn't fast enough. Gotta remember that that's A. 
Oh, there goes the axe. Let's go make another one. So we're not done yet. We got work to do. Anything I can sell right now? I mean... But I guess it's, it, it's really nice, I guess, in... Ah, I need more tree branches. It's really nice to be able to sit here and go like, yeah, you know... Oh, nice. Let me, if, I, if I'm going to do this, let me pull out the flimsy net, so that way... If we do get another set of wasps, I can catch one. Oh, come on. I need branches. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. I mean, believe me, I appreciate the money. I do, but I do need branches. Am I not getting branches because I, like, already farmed all of these? Like, I already... I don't know how to get that cicada. Oh, there we go. Okay, that should do it. And that'll definitely do it. Cool. I'm shaking just a couple more trees, just on the off chance I find a wasp nest. Okay, another axe. I don't know why this soft wood is just being, you know, so, uh, so difficult for me. There's also something to be said about maybe changing my tack and going for the more, um, the more durable stuff. But I could, you know, probably do well by going for the more durable wood items. No! Darn it! And I'm gonna pass out. I, like, ugh. Irritating. Like, it just took too long to get my net out. Wow, is your face okay? It's super creepy. Looks like some kind of Halloween mask. You didn't worry the wasp, did you? Those little buzzy bodies just love to go off. Yo, yo, yo. If you don't touch the stings, they'll heal eventually. Or if you want to spread these things along, use medicine. Well, yes, thank you. Uh, I came by for a chat. I really love my nice, simple sailor's tea. It goes with everything. But I never got to think about what else to wear. I can focus on more important stuff. Yeah, I'd like it if you weren't gathering... Oh, okay, you're not gathering my wood. That's fine. Okay, I, I appreciate the hardwood game. I really do. But can you give me softwood, please? So I can start gathering the iron. We're at 27. Uh-oh. Okay, cool. So there's the softwood. So now we need to go figure out iron. Now the problem is that there's trees everywhere, but rocks feel a little bit less so. Do I have any rocks up here? I do not. Okay. Checking for uh, checking for fish. See, like, we don't really have a lot of rocks available to us. So I'm a wee bit concerned about getting this iron. Let's see if we can 
get this fish. I love the music kind of slowly fades out. Sounds like a bitterling. Looks like a bitterling. We can go ahead and just let that go. Okay. Uh, we will need to pick up. Maybe that's why rocks give so many items as opposed to uh, trees. A geode? Hmm. I'm gonna have to come back and pick that up. Let's go turn in the softwood. And then sell a small amount of things. Just the the our inventory issues. That's why I'm I'm saving up for the inventory. Just our inventory issues are so bad. Uh, bitterling, clumps of weeds, wasp nests. Yeah, we we're, we're gonna pay off our our house by you know seventeen hundred at a time. It's just going to go just like that. Building a shop. I'd like to donate. As for two times donations, softwood and iron nuggets. I do have softwood. These are for you. Okay, one last bit of to reach our donation. Go building the shop. And you're going to give me a cushion. Oh, okay. Nice. Appreciate it. Yep, I will get you some iron nuggets. It'll happen. I promise. I promise I'm gonna get it for you. Okay. And what nook miles did we get this time? Oh. Sold clumps of weeds. That was our last of our dailies. Or last of our bonus dailies. I also, I, I do appreciate that the game does allow us um, more than just those dailies. Like, we can do more. Geode? What is that? Clay. Okay. More rocks? I mean, I was very much hoping to get the uh, the shop done today, but if we don't have rocks, we don't have rocks. Just gonna leave that there. I don't need that. I heard it. Or was it? It's over here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Lot, I mean, there's so many... Um, so many shells, I just don't have the space to do anything about them. Let's see if we can get this guy. Come on. Turn around and look at the bobber. You really gonna do this to me? You're gonna be like that? There we go. And what do we got? Horse mackerel? Horse mackerel. Let's go ahead and let it go. I do not need a horse mackerel. Okay, this is a lake, so this might be a different fish. What a tease. Three nibbles? That's a rock, of course it is.
Well, I don't think I'm getting my iron today. We just don't have the stones. And we got a boot. I'll have to come back and pick that up later. Yeah, we, uh... I'll have to go check on the, the near side of the river. But I don't think we have the stones to do this today. Which really sucks. I don't know. Let's let's keep looking around a little bit. How much how much iron do I have? I have 17. So, if I can just get any iron... I just don't remember what stones I've already hit today. That one, obviously. I think that was my money rock. Brings us up to 19. Uh, anything I need to go sell? I can go make two more fish bait. I have no idea like what fish bait does necessarily, but it gets stuff out of my inventory. It'd be nice if I could actually craft, like, more than one at a time. We can also craft an Ocarina. Well, maybe I can't yet. I'm curious. Let's go look. Two of five. We're getting there. Could craft a frying pan. Problem is, it requires iron nuggets. Have to go look at that later. Okay, so that rock gave me some stuff. Do we have any more near side rocks? That I can take advantage of? Okay. Looking, but we, uh, there it is. Am I just too? There we go. What did we get? A cork board. Neat. Okay, we already hit that one. We did already hit that one. Oh, and... Okay. There goes the flimsy axe. Oh, darn. I am rapidly running out of resources for the day. Which is just terrible. I believe we already checked on this side. I'm, I'm not thinking we're going to get 11 more iron. Oh, hello. That thing's big. Hello, big boy. Okay, we got one more, uh, we got one more thing we can do. Let's 
So all hope is not quite lost for, for getting our stuff done for the day. So what I can do is I could go do the... Um, I could go fly to another island. And it's possible that doing so, I will find another island that has the stuff that I need. Because, as I said, I really like to get this stuff done today, because these are things that, like, take, um, not necessarily 24 hours, but they do take a day to occur. I was wondering if that was going to be a wall-based thing. Let's go ahead and put that in storage. Huh. Okay. So, yeah. We have, we have the free ticket. So, I'm thinking we go... Worst comes to worst, I'm probably going to get a... Um, I, need, I need to... I, I don't have... I can't make another axe. That's the problem. Um, worst comes to worst, we're gonna end up probably getting another fruit type. But hopefully we'll get better than that. So let's take a look over here. I do have online, so might as well, right? If you're one and only gateway to the sky, it's the Isle Deck the Airport. Nice to meet you. I'm Orville, ground crew for Dodo Airlines. Dodo Airlines, the crew may be flightless, but it doesn't mean you have to be. If you want to visit another island, invite friends to this one, or go on a mystery tour, this is the place to be. I've also got a mail service at this airport. Sometimes letters just better. If you want to send someone a note, take a grand, uh, gander to your right. We got all kinds of cards at the card stand. By the way, you're Nye, right? It's a small island where it gets around. I just got a Nook Miles ticket from Tom Nook with Nye written on it, which makes it yours. So if you want to use this ticket, you just got to say the magic words, I want to fly. Got it? So you got anything to tell me? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, I got a Nook Miles ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so use that whenever. Just got to get the paperwork all official. Where'd you want to go? Use Nook Miles ticket. So you want to use your Nook Miles ticket. Roger. In that case, I'll just take this ticket I got from Tom Nook. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's just check you all packed tools already. Can you tell me more? So yeah, what's a Nook Miles ticket good for? The Nook Miles ticket is good for one mystery tour, a journey to the farthest reaches of the imagination. Could be anywhere from tiny islands to atolls. There are no limits, just any rock our pilot dares to land on. We created the service for true fans of uncharted land. For these folks, no island can be deserted enough. You can harvest anything you want, so bring your tools, and who knows, you might meet your next neighbor. Tickets available only at Nook Stop. Offer void prohibited. Dodo Airlines does not assume responsibility for anything, ever. And that about sums up the epic thrill ride we call the Dodo Airlines Mystery Tour. So we can leave right now if you got your tools ready and everything. Uh, I'm good. Yeah. If that's the case, that might be fantastic, but I'm going to need to go check tools. So let's go ahead and, uh... Okay. That's going to be what gets us where we need to go. I'm, I'm reasonably sure. Um, but I think what we're going to need to do is I'm going to need to make sure I have at least one more axe. I'm also going to go put some stuff away that I don't need right now. Like, I don't think I need this gold right now. So I'm going to see if I can put some of this stuff away. I don't know if it'll let me. I don't know if that's what storage actually uh, does here. Can I... Yes, gold nuggets I can put in storage. A leaf umbrella I can put in storage. Same with wood. Clay. Stones. Watering can. Mostly just making sure I have room in my inventory to actually get stuff on this magical mystery tour. I'm also going to go buy myself an axe because we just do not have the... Uh, materials to make another one. I'm I'm so very close to buying the stuff that would get me the non-flimsy tools. But given how easy it is um, to get money in this game, I will take 400 bells for that. Sure. Given how easy it is to get money in this game, I don't really mind 
uh, spending money to get it. I'm also going to go ahead and buy probably both of these when I get back. Uh, but I do need an axe. I also have a dog who's going nuts. I apologize. Once upon a time, this dog was, you know, well-behaved. No longer. He, he he doesn't at all. There are pu There's a puppy in the house. The puppy causes this dog to go nuts. Okay. So I have an axe, which is important. Uh, one day I'll get the golden axe. Or was it a silver axe? Okay. So let's go see what this ticket's all about. I'm kind of curious how this magical mystery tour works. Hopefully, we will get the items we need. Hey, Oliver. Orville. Orville. I want to fly. Okay, so let's go use Nook Miles' ticket. Okay, time for takeoff. So let's see how this works. Dota to the power button, but I like to touch the power button. Dota 1, this is Dota Tower. Wilbur, oh, it's Wilbur Norville. Okay, got a walker who needs wings over. Ready when we are. Okay, cool. Have a good flight, friend. We need to travel. Just think, what would Dodos do? Go extinct! I like it. Oh god, a little, little uh, Dodo actually, like, moves in time with the sound effect. Alright, we are two down and Doctor the Target Island. Delta, Oscar, Delta, Oscar is go. Dodo is go. First time getting your pontoons went on tour. Let me brief you on Mystery Island Procedure. First, we run the Finder's Keepers Protocol here. Lumber, fruit, fish, whatever, yours if you can carry it. Break a tool, forget one. I can requisition you a replacement. Gotta charge you miles, though. There's one red line item you need to memori uh, memorize, like your favorite latte order. Anything you leave behind stays here. We don't come back to these places. Ever. I actually burn the flight plans afterwards. Security reasons can't explain more than that. If that's everything, go explore. If you get yourself into trouble, ask yourself what would dodos do. Meanwhile, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools to travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Okay. Oh, okay. There is actually a uh, crafting station here. Cool. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is... Yes. Oh, absolutely yes. Give this to me. Okay. So, at the very least, we're going to be getting... Do I, do I have a map of this island? Looks like the map app won't work for this island. Okay. Um, okay, so we're at least getting coconuts out of this, which is amazing. Oh, there are also... Okay. There are also fossils. Um... Okay, that is both amazing and also problematic. Oh my god, look at this. This is amazing. This is what we need. And we did have a potential resident, too. So, uh, this is fantastic. So, I'm guessing these islands are pseudo-randomly generated. So there is ingredients, there are ingredients, available here. Um, so I can make myself more tools if I need to. Okay, where are we at? 26, I need four more. I'm reasonably sure we can hit four, but let's go talk to this person. So this is Broccolo. Ah, there's someone on this island. Oh, you're here visiting too? Hey, I'm Broccolo. You're Nye from Isle Decny? Neat! Didn't expect to make a friend here. This island is so cool. Eat it. Okay. This island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I can stay here forever, pointing at stuff, saying, that's nature. Man, it'd be real neat to live on an island like this. Full time. I mean, just living life. Pointing at nature. Want to come to mine? Huh? You live on Isle Decny, right? Is it like this there, too? Whoa! Then I want to go. If your island's as cool as you, then. I want to go, Nye. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, what should I do to move to Isle Decny? So if I call your Mr. Tom Nook, he'll tell me everything? Thanks! I'll call him and say hi. Today's the best day since I found what Paschetti was. Cool. 
Traveling on your own ain't so bad, but it sure is fun to make new friends. Eat it. Alrighty. Okay, so we are... Oh, cool. That was actually a lot faster than doing it the other way. Uh, we're on the lookout for a little bit more iron. Okay, on the lookout for literally, like, what, one more iron, and then we can make sure that happens. And then we can spend the remainder of our time together uh, fishing in the hopes that we can get some... Uh, get some more fish. Because I think that's probably going to be the only thing I'm going to be able to do to um, completely fill out the fishing log. Or completely fill out the, like, museum log. Oh, we already did that one. No, don't tell me this. There's not a single other rock on this island. I mean, there is. It's up there. That's upsetting. Okay. I want to hit that lake up. Okay, turn around, please. Ah, oh, whoops. I always do that. Got that rock right there. Freaking teasing me. Okay, these fish should be a little bit different from the fish that we've seen so far, because these are supposed to be lake fish. So we got a carp. Regular carp. Oh, and there goes the fishing rod. Um... Chances are I can probably get enough sticks to make a fishing rod. Okay, so we got a ca caught a ladybug. So that's three extra uh, items. So carp, ladybug, and uh, the fossil. How many tree branches do I have? Nine. Okay, I got plenty. So if we can get at least two more fish that I do not have in this lake. Then we'll be able to at least get the museum. The fact that I'm sitting here, like, literally needing one iron uh, really bothers me. Uh, hello. No, come here. No, come here. Yes! Caught a honeybee. Okay, we literally one fish we do not have. Okay, one of you two. Come look at this. Yay! Empty cam could be repurposed. I've got an idea for DIY recipe. Recipe, really now. Let's go look at my enough miles real quick. Catch bugs. Complete DIY projects. Grow fruit trees. Chop wood. Uh, those are probably not happening for the remainder of the day. What is my new? Oh, nope. Don't care about the Critterpedia right now. What is my new DIY recipe? A succulent plant. Oh, neat. Okay. Might do that. Oh, we got someone's attention. Ooh, a temple. Okay, let's go ahead and swap that. What do we want to drop? What am I willing to drop? 
I'm willing to drop red roses. Okay. We do have some really big fish out here, though. And another large sea bass. I'll try one other large fish. It's this one over here. This one's, again, fairly large, so I have to hope it's something that's not a sea bass. Another olive flounder. I think we can just kind of drop that. Just kind of hoping for, you know, one of the rarer fish. Also hoping there was another rock or something that I missed. I do like the idea of going on these mystery tours, though. Got another old boot. Good news is, anything I drop here stays here, so... Trash fishing. You work extra hard to keep our island clean, even going so far as to fish up trash out of our lovely waters. So you're getting some extra nook miles for keeping the island extra tidy. Yes, because I, you know, just left that there. Untossable trash. I mean, it's staying here. Okay, well, let's... Hello. Come here, friend. Be part of me. Ooh, hey. We got a dab. Not bad. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and swap this. Uh, what do I not need? We can swap with wood. we get now? Island Ichthyologist. Fill in your Critopedia with fish and earn miles along the way. Can you categorize each and every type of fish that swims in your island's waters, hmm? Good question. Small Fry Pesca Pro. 300 miles. My, uh, my cousin's an Ichthyologist. We're only 1,000 miles off of getting that upgraded inventory. Okay, we'll go ahead and head back. Bell Bottom Soul. This is Stove Top Pencil Case. Do you require assistance over? I am ready to go home. You ready to punt pontoons and fly soaring mum here back to Isle Deckney? You positive? Be very positive, because I wouldn't want you leaving anything behind. So again, you ready? Yep. Roger, lifting off November Oscar Whisker. So okay, we'll, we'll try to do one more thing. Um, I mean, there's not too much I can do um, at this point. Yeah, we only have so much opportunity to do stuff. But what I'm going to also try to do, let's go turn in our recent grabs. Just checking the uh, plaza here to see if our uh, our friend had moved in. It's probably going to be a tomorrow thing. Um, I'm going to go turn in our recent grabs. And then I think I'm going to try to see if we can find someone who's online who we can go join and see if I can get our iron that way. But we do have turn-ins, so we'll be, at least be able to make sure the museum happens. Okay, go ahead and assess this fossil. Okay, so what do we get? A Danity tail? Okay. I will absolutely donate this relic. Let's do it. Okay. Please tell me what this is. You may have not heard of Danonychus, but you may have heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor. Both were predators distinguished by their frighteningly huge toe claws. They also likely had feathers. The main difference between them? Size. Danonychus was about 7 feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. Little Velociraptor on the other wing was a compact 2 feet tall and weighed only about 33 pounds. I've heard that people meeting celebrities are often surprised at how short they are in person. Oh, okay. 
I do have other things. Let's donate. And the rest of them... We got tons. We're gonna be fine. It's a bug. A ladybug. What a wretched thing. Yes, tell me more about the ladybug. Yes, yes, ladybugs are quite beloved thanks to their tiny round shape and adorable spots. To that I say, bah! The fact of the matter is, some have stripes instead of spots, and some have no markings at all. Nope, I shall never understand why it is said that when you a ladybug lands on you, you'll have good luck. I shall only have a fainting spell. Yep, I have another bug for you. I have a honeybee. Yep, I no, tell me about the honeybee. I'm putting you through this. Did you know it takes a team of honeybees working together to transform flower nectar into honey? Indeed, forager bees suck nectar from flowers into their honey stomachs and then fly to the hive. Hive bees then chew the substance and spit it into the honeycomb, fluttering their wings to dry it out. Yes, you could say honey is a test tribute to the hard work of the humble honeybee. Oh my, you mustn't confuse my lengthy description for admiration. At the end of the day, honeybees are still insects and thus still ghastly. A wee bit less ghastly than most, I admit. I, I love that Blathers has never gotten over his uh, his bug fear. Then again, neither have I. Carp. We got a carp. Please tell me about the carp. Please, please do. What do we got? Oh, the carp. Have you ever seen their teeth? For your sake, I hope you have not. Carp have teeth in their throat strong enough to crunch on hard things like shells and fingers. A good rule of thumb when dealing with other species is to keep your fingers out of their mouths. Although having neither thumbs nor fingers, I am quite safe from this little fellow. I was unaware that carp had teeth in their mouth. Uh, teeth in their throats. Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. I do believe this means... Yes! Huzzah! Hooray! We have acquired the number of specimens required. My feathers, I'm at a loss for words. Never would I have imagined we could reach our donation goal on this, my very first day on the island. The generosity that made this possible, the passion, I am humbled by the spirit of Isle Deckney. Now we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh, oh my. I must make haste and prepare for the museum opening. There's so much to do. Who do who? Thank you so very much, Nye. Oh, can I, can I not donate more? Museum construction is about to begin, and thus I cannot accept new donations at this time. However, requisite, uh, requests for fossil phrases are still most welcome. Darn, why can't I not donate? That's annoying. So now I just have stuff in my inventory. Yes, yes, you're getting nook miles based on the number of fossils you've had assessed. Dig up as many as you can and find out what they are. Anonymous something or other. Okay, well, at least the museum will be open. I wonder if the museum is just going to be on this spot. Okay, well, let's go do our last thing in this, the end of a almost two hour long video. I had not intended for this to go nearly this long, but we had stuff to do. Okay. So let's go over and see if we can fly another island. So I want to fly? The first time you connect with folks on another island, whether letting them in or visiting them, the legal eagles say I gotta make sure you see some important info. It's kind of long, but it's a big deal, so please read the whole thing. About online play. During local online play, other players you play with can see player-generated text and graphics such as names, chat, bulletin boards, blah, 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 I understand. Thank you for sticking with me through the yawn fest there. Let's move on to the next step. Do you want to head to a nearby or... Uh, yeah, we're going to go with online play. Sounds good. Oh, and sorry if we showed you this before, but the legal eagles say we got to force someone plays online. Uh, yes, stuff. Yes, 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 stuff. Also, stuff. Understood. Stuff. Gotcha. Let me just connect you to the old internet for some online play then. Cool. Now, can I randomly just go find someone, or do I have to have a specific person in mind? That's the question. Because if I have to have a person in mind, I'm boned. How do you want to travel? Um, well. It's called Best Friends List. I can honestly tell you without your hydration, it's the best thing ever. Okay, cool. So we have a Best Friends List now. Something tells me I am not going to be able to do this the way I want to. And you're all set. The app's got instructions built in. So just open it after you meet up with a friend. Okay. 
Looking for islands you can visit. Let's see if any of my friends happen to be open. Got a flight for Sunspot right now. Sure. I have, I'm, I'm going to be curious who this is. Who knows? We'll find out. Okay. Just think, what would dodos do? I've actually been to small airports like this. Like, I've actually flown out of one of these in Hawaii. There's a really tiny airport. Just a puddle jumper from, like, one island to another. It was actually quite fun. It's your captain. We're almost to Sunspot, so please prepare for landing. Return your seat to the upright position and make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Local time is 2.50 p.m. You've got clear skies and the temperature is comfortable. Oh, my. We're making a water landing, but that's okay because this is a seaplane. Great way to scare people. I have never, however, been in a seaplane. Chat with other players. Yes, yes, yes. You can only use this tool when you're on a best friend's island. Well, that sucks. Okay. And their nooks is closed. That's what this is all about. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. Aha. Okay, I have another solution that I didn't want to have to do. But... Press that you traveled all the way to our fair island. What can I do for you today? Uh, what's for sale? Oh, hey, it's Z. Z is apples. Uh, actually, I should probably get more of those. Do you have anything else? Vaulted pole, slingshot. Okay, let's see how to Z. I wasn't even aware that Z that this was Z. Hmm. Try again. Extraction box is for sunspot residents only. Okay. Only registered users of sunspot can use this terminal. Oh, okay. There's a lot of things you can only use at your own personal city, apparently. It's good to know. Meet not trample Z's flowers. <laughs> I like the look. I don't know if you can wave. We got bears. Holy crap, it's loud. Hey, uh, did I scare you? My bad. Sometimes I get a little bit too pumped up, and then I get a little too loud. You're here visiting, right? That's so cool. My name's Teddy. Got a newer here. I'd love to have an off-island workout, buddy. Are you acquainted with someone on this island? If so, I'm glad that connection brought you here to enjoy your lovely sunspot. Oh, this is so cute. This 
See, Z did get Nook and Company going, but I'm still missing that one single solitary. Oh, hey. You can sidle. Got Rocket. I don't know you, do I? You're from Off Island? Hi, I'm Rocket. And you're Nye, right? I heard someone mention you. Welcome to Sunspot. Don't be shy, because you're not from here. Everybody's super chill. Just relax and make yourself at home, room. What's up with your face? Did you get some by a bee? Does it hurt? Are you okay? Yeah, it can be mean sometimes. Or, uh, all times. Gotta be careful around him, you know? It's kinda too late to be careful now, but you know what I mean. Vroom. Bet that does hurt, though. If I had medicine with me, I'd give it to you. But tell you what, I'll show you how to make medicine. My mom taught me when I was little. Oh, that is very cool. Just get all the stuff for the recipe together, and you can whip up some medicine in no time. Good luck. Nice! We got a medicine, uh, recipe. What's the latest? You're visiting Pyro, right? Check out their title. It's Deserted Island Island Dweller. I have no idea where the idea came from, but I'm super jealous. Then you can pick their brain for me. I gotta know where such a cool title came from. This is the worst way to type. Oh, neat. Z already said that to me. <laughs> We're kidding. <laughs> Yay! I have a tadpole. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. fun. It's, it's very, very calming. for this time. Oh, island in your land. Supporting your neighbor islands with a visit now and again. The more you visit, the more Nook miles you can earn. Here at Nook Inc., we like to reward your adventure spirit. Nice. Traveling person. We're so close. I like that it's not just friends, it's best friends. Oh, <laughs> it's another all of flounder. They're everywhere. Oh, and there goes the fishing rod. Darn it. I was hoping. I really was. Okay, so we need to go to another island. So I have another option. I was really hoping to not have to use it.
like, was really hoping to not have to use it. But, um... Oh. Okay, this is your captain. We're almost to Isle Techni, so please prepare for landing. Return your seat to the upright position, and make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Local time is 3 p.m. You've got clear skies, and the temperature is comfortable. Okay, so he says the same thing every time. I was hoping. Um, okay, so, as I said, I didn't really want to do this, because I wanted to save my points. But I think I'm going to go grab a ticket for one more mystery island. If I'm allowed to go to one, that might be a once-per-day thing, so we'll find out. Uh, but I'll try to do that. And that will be enough for me to um, get the new Nooks building. It's it, like I'm gonna have to do that though because I do not want to wait another day, um, to get that going, which is uh, that's such a shame because we're at eight thousand. Oh, why do I want eight thousand? It's five thousand. Yes, give me the pocket organization guide. Now generating pocket organization guide. For some reason I thought it was eight thousand. Don't ask me, I'm dumb. Your order's been printed. Thank you. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned some tricks for organizing my belongings. I bet I can carry a bit more stuff now. Uh, how much is a bit more? Ooh, another line. Okay. Is there another upgrade later on? So, pretty good tools is 3,000. So, it would be nice to pick that up. But, I need to get this done. Okay. As I said, I don't want to wait another day. Um, because that would be kind of obnoxious to, to miss out. Especially like you saw, Z's already there. Oh, hey. That's right. We got points for redeeming Nook, nook Miles. So we'll go do this. Uh, that will hopefully get us to where we want to be. And that'll be it for the day. I mean, this has been a two hour long episode uh, that I intended to be an hour or less. I really was, you know, going for more like half an hour, but <laughs> that totally happened that way. Okay. So we'll see, we might be able to get ourselves another visitor to the island. Okay, off we go. I wonder what type of things you can get in these. Oh, we are two down, docked. Okay. This is different. Look at this. Ooh, hey! Got a bamboo shoot. Nice! Oh, it's Koala. Well, hello there. My name's Melba. You're Nye? Wait, you came here all the way from Isle Dechne? You're definitely more well-traveled than me. 
I am trying to fix that by touring new places like this island. Mom always says there's magic and chance encounters, so I'm glad we ran into each other. Oh, please come to my please come to my village. Must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery has given me a new perspective on life back on my island. I like it well enough, but move to my island. Oh wow! Such a great idea. Thank you for encouraging me. When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island, unless you were just teasing me. Do you really mean it, Toasty? Oh, you'll love it there. This is all so exciting. I can't wait to start packing up for my big move after this tour. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named Tom Nook about relocating. I'd better do that before I forget. Okay. Oh my god. Look, there's so many bamboo shoots. Okay, those stack. Good. Okay, so if I remember correctly, what you do is you do this, and you do this. And then this allows you uh, to not have to reposition as you hit this, and you can hit the maximum amount. Which didn't really matter in this case, given that it was, you know, um, there's already one on the ground, but... Okay, so that worked out. That was exactly what we needed. I do not have a fishing rod right now. So if I uh, do this here, for example, I should be able to get probably nine items out of this if I do this right. Or not nine, but eight. Just go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of everything this particular island has to offer. I mean, might as well, right? I mean, we're we're already well over expected time. Oh, hello. I didn't know you could jump over uh, holes like that. Oh, nope, don't want that. And there goes the shovel. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the shovels any longer, uh, because the next thing we're going to make sure to do is we're going to get ourselves uh, the upgraded stuff, so we'll get the, you know, the pretty good stuff. So we won't have to deal about these deal with these breaks any longer. Okay, we got plenty of coconuts. Go ahead and grab some of these, uh, some of these shells. Hopefully, I'll be able to plant some of these. I wonder what happens when you shake bamboo. Not much, admittedly. Okay, what are my tools right now? I do still have a flimsy axe. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and do this. Just get ourselves a bunch of iron. It's also good to know that the little islands that you can find do have... Oh, hey, there's a thing there. Is that... That's probably just gonna be bamboo. Oh, hey. I don't know why this surprises me. This is actually bamboo, not, uh... 
you know, not normal wood, so why am I surprised that we're getting bamboo out of it? Oh, there's the axe. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily want... Rock Splitting Champ. You hit a single rock eight times in a row and knock some things loose. But did you know that rock whacking is the activity that keeps on giving? Yes, yes, you're getting some defiles now. Sports-minded muscle. We have, we've done a lot of stuff here. Okay. Um, I think we're good to go. We've done... We, we did the thing that I needed to do. Bell-bottom cabaret. This is stovetop microscope. Do you require assistance? <laughs> ah, this is... This is gonna be so good! If he uses different code names every time... Oh, I'm gonna be so happy. I'm gonna be so happy. You don't even know. You don't even know how happy I'm gonna be. Okay. So let's go turn in, and then that's gonna be it for the day. Um, kind of like I said last time, I may end up doing some... Dog flapping. Uh, I may end up doing some stuff. Uh, work on getting rid of weeds, things like that. Uh, I'm going to be planting all of these coconuts and all of these uh, bamboo shoots. Got building a shop. I'd like to donate. 30 iron nuggets, these are for you. This means we have everything we need to get started on our shop. And because you helped us gather what we need to start construction on the shop, we want you to have the honor. What is this honor, you ask? We'd like you to be a key figure in making this happen to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like, and we'll get started on construction. I'm so excited to see the location you pick for us. It's a very good question, actually. Where where should I put the shop? Um... I mean, there's a lot of good... I kind of want to put it over the river, honestly. How much space does it need, is the question. It's like right here would be kind of nice. Yeah, we would need this. There we go. This is where the shop will go, but this island is about to become a whole lot lightlier. So how long is this going to take? Reserved for Nook's Granny. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to be about it for me. Oh, hello. So you have a message card from a friend. You can create and send message cards to the airport. Once a message card is received, it is saved to the, to, to the switch system. It can't be received again. All received message cards are stored on the server for 90 days. After 90 days, they're deleted. You can have up to 300 message cards saved on the server. Once you exceed that amount, message cards will be deleted in order from oldest to newest, and the deleted cards can't be received. Okay. Well, I've got stuff to plant, weeds to weed, and other stuff to do. So I'm going to get to it. I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.